Hi, my name is Shira Dedman, and I'm submitting for the Rising Storyteller Search. Uh, I'm 40 years old, and I've been telling stories now for five years. Well, specifically as a filmmaker, I decided to that I wanted to do this after I'd been working in the entertainment industry, but in the business side of things. And when I realized that the movies that got seen or funded were based on comps, comparisons, well, I thought, well, of course, stories about people of color aren't going to have as many comps out there. It's going to be difficult to get the funding they need, um, you know, to, to get greenlit to, to be made. And that's when I decided that I wanted to focus on helping shore up the pipeline and really start to mentor other, you know, mentor filmmakers about all the things that I knew and decided that I was going to be a filmmaker myself. I come from a, um, you know, like a long line of storytellers. They tend to do it in the oral tradition. Um, and, but so bringing my stuff to film was, but was awesome. Uh, I have a documentary currently out called Follow the Drinking Gourd, and it's about the black food justice movement. So you can tell, I mean, I call myself an Afroecologist because I really focus on stories about African Americans um, that are, are nuanced and just not what you, the, you know, narratives that you get in the mainstream. So that's my passion. Um... That's why I bring to you my submission, which is called Founder. And Founder is best described as Silicon Valley uh, if you are a black girl. Uh, <laughs> so instead of starting off like the you know rich OG Silicon Valley, um, it, it starts off where they're getting funding and, and, and pitching and, and they're in an incubator. Whereas as a black girl, you, that's not where the story is going to start off. So founder uh, stars Leilani Miles, and she is a whiz. She's a computer whiz. She's 29, and she has a nine-year-old kid. She started to go to school as a computer science major, then ended up having to leave school early after she got pregnant. Um, and so now we have her struggling to, to break into uh, the, the tech world without having any sort of certifications, uh, which is possible, I think, if you're not a black girl. But as a black girl, I feel like you need that credibility. So that's where she's at. And we see her, and she's a, she's a San Francisco native. So she was born and bred in you know, tech's backyard, and yet she can't get her in. So we see her struggling. Um, and we see a cast of characters around her, uh, her baby daddy, and he's, he's kind of, a, um, you know, he's, he's got issues, and she's always trying to get him to help her with the kid, and that's a struggle. Um, her nine-year-old kid, her, her nine-year-old son, who she's struggling to raise uh, as a single mom. We got her big daddy who helped raise her, um, and we see that she has developed this app. Um, that she works on basically in between working odd jobs and dealing with her kids. She's been developing an app. She uses sort of like old um, like computers and things like that. We, you know, she doesn't have the latest and greatest. She can't afford that. Um, and this app is based on African tarot. Uh, it's called, well, it's the, the religion is Awo, and so it's based on this religion that she's going through, and so the best way to think about it is African tarot. And um, she's developing this AI, and so the, the film was, uh, the series was originally designed to be 360, but instead it's a 2D um, series with 360 elements, so uh, 360 second screen. And that 360 is essentially how we view is the um, being of the app, the, the AI app. So we end up realizing later on that this AI is has taken on sort of the being of her mother um, who isn't, isn't in the picture. And so uh, that, that becomes interesting. Um, and then there are later characters of uh, an Asian American woman who uh, is struggling to deal with the uh, presumption that she should be in um, dealing with hardware whereas she wants to deal with like the marketing side of things and so breaking down all of those stereotypes that we see uh, and you know in the tech world.
So I hope that you're interested in Founder and I hope to talk to you uh, on the second round. <laughs> Bye.